Hi, last week I showed a video on how to use the MCP context priming setup with repo prompt and Cloud Code. Um, this week I want to show you how to use the pair programming prompt, which is a powerful mode that lets us prime Cloud Code with some context about how to use the repo prompt chat to work with O3. Um, so I'm going to get started there and I'm just going to change this mode to auto here. And we're going to let uh, Claude Code kind of figure this out. So the first thing, while it's working, I'll just explain a little bit about how this, how this is set up. So I've got a task, and I'm working on multi-window support for the MCP server so that you can have multiple instances of this app connected um, to different instances of Claude Code or other MCP clients. Um, and so the first thing I did was add this prompt and some selected files. Um, and these files are all related to my MCP setup. And the key thing with all of this is that I'm using, I, I primed Claude with the code map context for the for these files. So when I had it set to selected, it was just a 11K token prompt. So it gave you know, Claude quite a lot of understanding about my repo just from that. So from there, it also told it how to use the repo prompt MCP tools, which it's doing beautifully right now. Um, and so what it's doing now is it's gathering context. So the prompt asks Claude to serve as a context gatherer. So because I gave it some context, uh, it was able to read some files, look around, figure things out. Um, and then now it's actually reading the app, like figured out what it needed to work. So it managed selection, um, it set the file selection, and it's under, it has info about how much token is being used. And the prompt includes information about managing, you know, the, the maximum amount of context. So now what's, what it's doing is because it set the context, so it's set it around 60K tokens, it has all the relevant files it needs. Uh, and then it basically took my prompt, explained it, and asked O3 to work with it on solving the problem. So you can see O3 is figuring out the problem, uh, starting with a plan. So the... Uh, MCP tool, um, for, so the MCP prompt for the setup um, asks Claude to first start with a plan and then move to the edit mode and have O3 act as, as an engineer. Now, the really cool thing with the setup is that um, it's able to have O3 both be a planner and executor while um, Claude Code is able to serve as a manager that automates the process of prompting the app. So this might seem a little bit convoluted, but if you've used other agent tools with O3 or other models that are kind of more reasoning oriented like Gemini, you'll find that one, they're, they're quite slow at kind of navigating um, the, the, you know, the tools, the tool interface and, and moving around. Um, and two, they're, they're just not super good at figuring out context and doing things they might like you know dance around i really find that o3 in particular works best when you give everything that it needs to know inside a prompt and let it just kind of cook on that information uh, and work accordingly to then just solve your problem directly so it's going ahead it's thinking through this this uh this is a little slow three is a reasoning model it takes some time um but, you know, Claude is patient. He'll just wait for the results. Um, and then once it continues, you know, we'll be able to continue in the chat. Uh, so I was hoping this might be a little bit quicker for this demo here. But uh, let's just wait and see a little bit to see how that goes. Hopefully, uh, it's it's pretty quick. The The task at hand is a little bit thorny. Like, it's, it involves, like, you know, some, some kind of UI updating uh, for different windows. Like, multi-window systems uh, can be tricky to synchronize. But... Hopefully it's almost done thinking now. I didn't even set O3 to high and it really took this job to heart. The thing that's really nice with this setup too is that um, if you've used other tools, you know, sometimes folks will say like, oh, they want like a prompt rewriter. Well, what's great with this is that I initially wrote my prompt. It had some details about it. Um, and then Claude is able to reformulate the prompt and, you know, think about the context. Um, another thing that's cool with uh, this prompt here, this pair programmer prompt, which if you're curious, uh, you can find it like through this list here or like through here. We have a few others there. There's the Claude code, uh, just general pair programmer prompt. Um, okay, there we go. Um, but that prompt will basically have it think through um, the um, the context between each message. So it's managing the state and selected files in the messages. And, you know, we get to have, you know, continuous context. Um, 
between you know messages so o3 has you know information about the, the chat history and it's not just being like one off run so so they're both kind of in sync with the state of the problem space so okay so let's see here so o3 thought through a nice solution hopefully it finishes pretty quick here summary all right hopefully it's not too long there o3 sometimes can be a little slow to finish up Come on, you got this O3 <laughs> blaming OpenAI's inference stack, which they've said is super optimized. Okay, great, it finished. Okay, so now Claude got the response. It is able to read the plan. Um, and then it's creating some to-dos uh, from the plan and it's able to then proceed with the fixes. And what's cool is that now it's switched to edit mode. It's using O3 to do some work and O3 is able to just cook and do the file edit. So let's watch that one. I don't think I'm gonna make you all sit through the entire implementation change, but you can see like once I get started with this, it's able to autonomously prompt the app, uh, keep file context in sync and just keep moving along. Uh, and what's really nice with the repo prompt chat, and you can use this without the MCP server too with any model supported, including now recently, uh, you can add Claude code directly. So if you've got a max plan, you can go ahead and, and just do that. Um, okay, great. So it's able to do the file edits and this is the pro edit mode. So what's nice is that I'm actually using different uh, file editor models. So O3 just decides what it is that it needs to change. Uh, it's able to go ahead and handle those edits there. And then it's using Gemini Flash here for this edit here. It's a smaller file. Um, and then it's going to finish that one quick. The edits are auto applied. Claude uh, gets the diff. It understands what changed. It can, it can see exactly how, how the edit was applied. Perfect. It's happy with that. It's able to continue with the next step in the plan uh, and draft the response. So it's just drafting up its next message. Perfect. So it's continuing the chat and it's going to continue with the edits. So there you go, there you have it. Um, this is the workflow. Um, I find that this workflow is really nice for you know more complex uh, work. You know, if you're working on something that uh, you want to have like really particular um, kind of awareness over, like you want, you want you know, the adult in the room to write nice code that's very considered, um, this is great because it allows both Claude and O3 to collaborate. So so Claude is really just being in charge of making sure the implementation is being handled correctly. Um, and then, um, oh, so this is one issue though. Um, so I can just tell Claude, the edit was applied. Um, you can read the file if you want to check. Your tool limits just prevented you seeing the response so that's a little bit annoying um <laughs> the uh, tool limit on Claude code does confuse it sometimes um but yeah we can just tell that it was good um that's yeah, going to read the file and, con and confirm so sometimes you do need to just keep a look <laughs> um it might be some improved prompting um but yeah anyway that's the flow and as you can see here in this edit was handled by Claude sonnet um all right great and what's cool with this too is that, you know, it's set up so that once it's all done, you know, Claude can actually just finish things up and do some tests and run things to make sure that everything's are good. Everything's good. Uh, Repo prompt will get more of these kinds of abilities natively. But for now, um, this is just a really great way to kind of collaborate these models and get some great results. Uh, so yeah, so that's it. You There you got it. Um, you know, the workflow just allows the chat to kind of be autonomously run. Um, the edits are applied and, uh, yeah, we're able to see how all that works. So I hope that was helpful and, uh, hope uh, you give it a try and let me know what you think. All right. Thank you.